everyone. So unfortunately, we've not been able to do our usual Christmas celebrations this year. Usually during this week, all our early years classes would have had invited the parents and their families in to share mince pies, sing some songs together, and maybe even have a visit from Santa. And then there'd be our big Key Stage 1 concert where all the children would get to take part, being on stage in their special costumes with everyone watching during the afternoon or the night time. But as you know, we've not been able to do all of that this year. So we've put together this little video. We hope that you'll enjoy it just as much as you would coming in to celebrate with us like you would usually do. If you think this has been easy in comparison to what we normally do, then you are misguided. Trust me, getting the children to learn songs in a safe way when we've got restrictions on singing, getting them all to sing and look at the camera at the same time, getting them all to join in, getting spaces where all the bubbles can safely perform has been no mean feat. But hopefully you'll enjoy what they've all done for you. Desling Dormice, can you shout Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas! Give mummies and daddies and nannies a wave.
enjoyed that. I certainly did when I got to see all the little videos before I put them all together as one big performance. Usually I write the Christmas concert each year. It's a one-off special written for the number of children that are in school. So they all get a good part and they all get a nice costume and they all get the chance to shine on stage. Sadly, I didn't get to write one this year. So I've written this little poem for all of you instead. It's called An Ode to 2020 by Miss Scrivens. Our lives have been a little different this year. That's certainly true to say. But we've still managed to enjoy ourselves each and every nursery and school day. We've kept ourselves safe in our bubbles, only mixing with our teachers and friends. And we've washed our hands continuously, making sure that the germ spreading ends. We've waited in lines at our distance and grown-ups have worn different face masks. We've all tried to listen to instructions, following everything of us that's been asked. All toys and resources have been sanitised our books have been quarantined each week. We've only sung in safe outdoor groupings and used our quiet voices each time we speak. Our toilets have been cleaned every hour and we've had dinner in two separate halves. We really have tried to keep each other healthy, knowing that at present we're safer apart. But there's still been a great deal of learning about various wonderful things. And our teachers have continued to make us believe that we can be anything, we can fly, we have wings. We've become better at using technology and we know how to keep working at home, using Seesaw to show all our teachers the knowledge and skills that we have all finally honed. We've had parties and pantos and Christmas dinner. We've been snapped in our best Christmas wares. The elves have been watching us working and filling buckets, showing kindness and care. We want things to go back to normal and we miss being together as one. But despite this great big challenge we face, at Langley Mill, Christmas magic has still shone. Have a wonderful festive period, everybody. Keep following the rules and the guides. The sooner we get on top of this virus, the more we can enjoy the rest of our lives. Happy Christmas everybody, stay safe, lots of love.